Okay, you guys, so we're gonna do it. We're gonna cut this bad boy open. As you can see, there's like mold growing on this, and then I got like soap on here, sorry, but let's just go ahead and cut this open and see what's going on on the inside. So if your beauty blender has these little dots on them, don't use them because it's probably mold. Okay, so that's what it looks like. So all the foundation is pretty much like on the bottom where you like pounce it in anyway. So it still looks pretty good on the inside. There is like this darker part in the middle. If you guys can see, I'm not really sure like what that is, but. Okay, so now we're gonna cut open the Real Techniques sponge and see what that looks like on the inside. I can't believe I'm doing this right now. Okay, so this one took a little bit longer to get back in its form, but that's what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut open this Sephora sponge. This one's hard to cut. But, we'll get it. Oh, this one looks like brand freaking new. Good job. Yeah, that one's like perfect. I like how this feels when you cut it. Is that weird? Like feels good, like satisfying. And this one looks really good on the inside too. I kind of cut that other one messed up, but that looks pretty decent. So there's not like mold or anything growing on the inside of my beauty blender. It looks pretty good. Like it doesn't seem to have any problems, but I'm just so sad about this mold. I like tried washing it off, so I definitely think it's mold. It's not just like a stain of some kind. So don't use your beauty blender if it looks like that. And that's what everything looks like, you guys. As you can see, the Sephora one looks like pretty much brand new. So if you have an old beauty blender you'd like to cut open, I'd say do it. If you're curious, I'm glad I could do this for you guys and maybe <laughs> give you a little insight. I don't know. I don't really know the point of this video, but I saw a bunch of other people doing it and I was like, okay, well maybe people would want to know what was in my beauty blender, so. That's all, bye, love you.